purpose of this video is to explain how to calculate the cost functions for a firm. Costs are, can be fixed. Total fixed cost is the cost to the firm for the resources that are fixed in the short run. Like, for example, a business might sign a lease to use some land, and they have to pay that rent on that land no matter what they produce. So that's a fixed cost. It's the same every period, every month. The total variable cost is the cost of the firm of the variable resources, which is something like labor or natural resources or fuel. The more you produce, the higher those things cost. <clears throat> and total cost is all of the costs, both fixed and the variable. And then you have the average fixed cost, which is the fixed cost expressed on a per unit basis. And the same thing about the average variable cost. It's the variable cost on a per unit basis. And the average total cost is the total cost on a per unit basis. The marginal cost is the change in the total cost every time you produce another unit output. <clears throat> so what we want to do is, from the numbers that are in this cost table, figure out all the other numbers that go in here. And to do that, there's six things that you need to know. Six things will get you every number in this table. First, you have to know that the total cost of making something is the sum of the fixed and the variable. The total cost, fixed cost plus the total variable cost always equals the total cost. And if you express that on per unit basis, the equivalence true on the averages, the average fixed cost plus the average variable cost equals the average total cost. You need to know those two things. And then the other things you need to know are these things. You need to know how to calculate the averages and how to calculate a marginal. The average fixed cost of producing something is the total fixed cost divided by the quantity produced. The average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the quantity produced. And the average total cost is the total cost divided by the quantity produced. The marginal cost, MC, that's the change in the total cost divided by the corresponding change in the quantity. So, knowing those things will enable you to fill in all the numbers in the table, but you have to do some critical thinking. <clears throat> so, the first things that I noticed in the table is that when output is 0, 1, or 2, I know what the fixed cost is and I know what the variable cost is. So, using this formula up here in pink, I know what the fixed cost is, I know what the variable cost is, all I have to do is add them together to get the total cost, so that should be pretty easy to do. <clears throat> fixed plus the variable equals the total. Thirty plus zero equals thirty. Thirty plus six equals thirty-six. Thirty plus ten equals forty. Now, if I want to calculate the average fixed cost, here's my formula. It's the total fixed cost. I know that divided by the quantity. Quantity is the same as output. Output means the same as quantity. So, average fixed cost would be thirty divided by zero, and then thirty divided by one, and then thirty divided by two. Those would be the numbers that would go here. 30 divided by 2 is 15, 30 divided by 1 is 30, 30 divided by 0 is undefined, you can't divide by 0, so I'm just putting a mark there because there's nothing that you can put there that would be correct, it's undefined, you can't divide by 0. figure out my paper. To figure out the average variable cost, here's the formula for the average variable cost. It's the total variable cost divided by the quantity. Six divided by one is six. Ten divided by two is five. And then the average total cost 
is the total cost divided by the quantity. Total cost, 30 divided by 0, can't do it. Can't divide by 0. 36 divided by 1 is 36. 40 divided by 2 is 20. The other thing about the average total cost up here in red is that it's the average fixed cost plus the average variable cost. And you can see that by the 30 and the 6 and the 36, and the 15 and the 5 and the 20. 30 plus 6 equals 36. 15 plus 5 equals 20. So when you're doing this, you should get average total cost the same whether you apply this formula or whether you apply this formula. You should get the same number. If you don't, you did something wrong. Okay, marginal cost is the change in the cost divided by the change in the quantity. It's the additional cost to make another unit of output. So when the first unit of output gets produced, the cost goes from 30 to 36, and that's an increase of $6. So it costs $6 more to make the first unit of output. And it costs $4 more to make the $4 more to make the second unit of output because when the second unit of output is produced, the cost goes from 36 to 40. That's an increase of 4. So now we're on the third unit of output and we want to know, we want to fill in the rest of the numbers in this row where output quantity is 3. So the first thing is what is the total fixed cost of making 3? Notice that fixed cost is the same no matter what the output level is. So if we know the fixed cost of making two, we know the fixed cost of making three, and the fixed cost of making four, and the fixed cost of making five, and the fixed cost of making six. And I'm just going to leave off the dollar signs just to keep things in here <coughs> like I've been doing. So now I can, should be able to do the rest of that row. Total cost is the fixed plus the variable. 30 plus 18 is 48. Average fixed cost is the total fixed cost. 30 divided by the quantity. 30 divided by 3 is 10. The average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the quantity. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Now there's two ways to get the average total cost. I can get the total cost divided by the quantity. 48 divided by 3. Or the average fixed cost and the average variable cost. Either way, I get 16, which is a good sign. We're going to do the same thing both ways. Now, the marginal cost is the additional cost to make the third unit of output. So, when the third unit of output is produced, costs go from 40 to 48. That's an increase of $8. That's the marginal cost. Oops. Now it gets tricky. We're at the fourth unit of output. And we know what the total fixed cost is, and we know what the average total cost is. Now, students get stuck here because they want to work linearly. They want to get the numbers from left to right. But there's no way to figure out the total variable cost. So you got to figure out the total cost first. And since you know the average total cost, you can figure it out using this formula for the average total cost. That's how you calculate the average total cost. The total cost divided by the quantity. Then 
you divide everything by four, about the ratio of averages, three divided by four, three divided by four again. The average fixed plus the average variable equals the average total. So that checks and the marginal cost of the increase, which is twelve dollars from forty-eight to sixty when this goes up by one. Change the total cost, or the change in quantity, the change in quantity, the way this thing is set up, is always one. Two rows left. Same principle on this row as on the previous row. We know that the average variable cost of the 50 unit of output equals $9. And from that, we can figure out what the total variable cost has to be using this formula for the average variable cost. row of the table where we know what the marginal cost is. Since we know how much it costs to produce five and how much more it costs to produce the sixth, we can figure out how much it costs altogether to produce the sixth. That has to be $21 more than what it costs to make five. The additional cost, so that has to be 96. That's 21 more than 75. And we have to work backwards. Fixed, total fixed divided by quantity, 30 divided by 65, 66 divided by 6 will give you the average variable cost, that is to be 11, 96 divided by 6 equals 16, and 5 plus 11 equals 16, so either way, we get the same thing. So those are the right numbers that go into the cost table. <coughs>